Okay, deck tech. Well, um, so let's, uh, let's see, um, how we can do with a hammerless, uh, Chandra build. Um, I like Bone Crusher Giant, I like Ragavan, I like Season Pyromancer, I like Fury, uh, and I like Matrix of the Moon, but more so out of the sideboard. And you know what all of these cards really combine well with? Shadow Spear. This actually does give me a pretty decent uh, chance to bring it around against Burn. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the idea here, is that this is a creature-heavy take on the Obosh archetype um, to give me a little bit of pizzazz against Burn. This is the only Obosh list that actually has a plan uh, against Burn. The uh, 8 Chandra mid-range deck, of course, this is not an Obosh build, but that has Chalice of the Void. But uh, this build, um, basically Shadow Spear. And Shadow Spear can also help out against maybe, like, is it Murktide or... I don't know. It could help out against some other matchups where racing, or humans definitely for sure, where, where racing is key, you know, that's going to be important. And if we bring in Mages to the Moon, either in place of Blood Moon or something else, but say just hypothetically in place of Blood, in, in place of Blood Moon, then we have, um, you know, 8, uh, 12, 16, 20, 20 creatures, plus, of course, our Obosh that we always have waiting in the wings. Um, you know... <clears throat> um, since we don't have Hammer, I, I think it's going to be a little dubious to try to rely on bridge locking the opponent, so we're just going to be playing Brutal Effigy uh, in order to uh, handle, isn't, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, um, Murktide Regent. Hopefully we either can land this when they're tapped out, and when we have 5 mana, so we can crack at the same turn. But, you know, the cool thing about this is we can land this hopefully while they're tapped out, even, um, you know, uh... Yeah, we can land this while they're tapped out even before they deploy Murktide, and hopefully they don't have something like a Braid to deal with it. Either way, they could do... They could. I mean, this is overall probably, you know, Brittle Effigy is probably overall better against, uh, is it Murktide, than Bridge, for sure, because, you know, um, Bridge, of course, is three mana, and this is one, and this may deter them playing, is it Murktide, because it's effectively uncounterable once it's already in play. Uh, we are kind of soft to um, to rhinos, but that's just how this goes. If it's the four color Urion version, then we got a pretty good chance to moon them out. But yeah, anyway, um, let's see how the games go. Um, I I'm kind of the least certain about this version. I kind of think the uh, the Chandra's. I kind of think the Hammer Bagarden version is probably the best. But if for all of you who can't stand Hammer Bagarden, um, I'm I'm leaning towards this possibly being the best. Uh, you know, Hammer Bogarden list, uh, Obosh list. But um, I'm telling you, I don't think it's a coincidence that a lot of my best uh, results um, have historically always basically come from... Ever, I mean, ever since, like, I moved into mid-range instead of prowess, basically, no matter what different versions I try, the Hammer versions almost always yield the best results. So, you know, I mean, you can take that for what you will. It's just, you know, for me, that's, uh, that's just how it's worked. But, um, but this, you know, this is going for a different path. It's got a plan against Burn. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. <coughs> All right, match one. <coughs> With, um, <coughs> Hammerless, uh, Chandra, or Full Moon mid-range. Well, if they are playing Amulet, we've got Blood Moon, but unfortunately they're on the play. Still can't mulligan a hand with Blood Moon if they are on Amulet. And either way, this is a decent hand. Got a turn one play, got a turn two play. And we got multiple turn three plays, so that's what it is. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I think that must have been a misclick from them. But but maybe not. I don't know, it's hard to say. So the only re the reason why I'm not playing Spikeful Hazard is I might want to pitch it with a uh, Season Pyromancer. Well, something's going on here. Something funky. Are they just uh, okay? I can play it untapped if I drop the Blood Moon. So we'll see. Forest, I'm guessing. <laughs> I 
All right, Ann, let's see. We missed, uh, we missed me on a completely locked amount, but they do seem to be on Amulet. Let's do this and this. Okay, let's do this. Because we want to be able to, uh, we wanted to be able to spike field and lightning bolt. That's why we, um, if they played a uh, dryad, which of course they do. So that, that's why we did this. But of course we have fury, so that's going to be our first uh, choice. Anyway. We're playing out this because we're planning to have Obosh in our hand and every little piece of burn is very powerful with Obosh, even a one mana. One. Yeah, we're definitely lightning bolting this. This is concession lag. full moon. By the power of the moon, I will vanquish you. Definitely may just... Okay, I kind of want pillage, but I'm not sure what to take out for it. I guess Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher can be good, but... Although, maybe we want Brittle Effigy. Riddle Effigy is just a clean answer to Titan and to, and to Dryad and to lots of things. I like Pillage. I just don't think Pillage is, like, that great. Cancel them down, though. Now nah, you know, we're, we're playing Pillage. Yeah, whether it's blowing up a, uh, a Karoo land, or whether it's um, uh, to prevent them from playing Titan a turn earlier, or whether it's killing one of their only green sources, I have a feeling that this is going to have the ability to lock things up to a greater extent than Brittle Effigy. I could be wrong, though. But we'll see. Plus all our uh, all our spells are red now, which is good. Okay, Obosh. All right, well, possibility of turn two Blood Moon. Count me in. Even though we'd probably prefer Magus after they've seen Blood Moon, because they they are definitely coming prepared. Thought they got. I thought they got to see. Okay. Alrighty. All right, let's go. Let's see how badly we need to turn to Titan if we need to 
drop Fury. I don't think we do. Okay. We're going to bolt and Fury that thing. Or do we? We don't need to... Yeah, let's do it. Alright, well, our Blood Moon will shut this off at least. Got two of them. And with Obosh, we can trade through it. So we're dropping lots of lands, which is good for us. Amulet. Color. Consider. Already. All right. It's Obosh. It's Obosh in time. Hopefully we can end the game in short order. I'm nervous about playing Blood Moon because Force of Vigor, of course, deals with both simultaneously. Let's see. Magus, that's excellent. And we have enough to play all of this. Second Blood Moon. I will save the second Blood Moon both because of uh, Force of Vigor and because of... Uh... Oh, we can play Amulet Titan. Shoot, should we do this? I'm a little worried that they can like kill this though at end of turn. So even though I loved, I'd love to play Amulet Titan, I mean, I'd love to play a Titan of my own because actually, I mean, how often is it that I can actually do that? At the end of the day, I think I have to just try to hedge my bets with Magus. So we could definitely lose if they uh, force of vigor this at end of turn. But if we have Magus and the Moon backing it up, I think, uh, yeah, we're just one mana sort of doing both, but. I was very tempted to play that. Primeval Titan. <clears throat> All right, so is this it? Do we clinch it or? Okay, well, all right, not a bad start. Taking it down against Amulet Titan. We have the moons. Yep, and of course, just the laggy victory screen. This is probably why they leave instantly, because Magic Online takes so long to give me the victory screen. 
All right, let's go to the next game. See you all later. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> all right, match uh, two. Sisphos happy is our opponent. This this uh, kind of screams Enchantress to me. Man, we, it would be nice to have turn two moon, but we're not really set up to guarantee turn two moon, so let's just hope for the best. This may be where our win streak comes to an end, but we'll see. That doesn't look like a... Well, maybe I spoke too soon. <sighs> Alrighty. Let's see if they play, uh, if they play, um, Ren and Six. Huh, looks like Dredge. Hmm. Or something Vine. It's not too bad. I'm gonna hit the Asmural. And it's a good chance I'm going to Lightning Bolt uh, during their attack step, because... I may tank it first, though, actually. Okay, I can't risk it. i got to kill this thing now. Alright, Madness. Yeah, maybe I should have waited, but anyway, it's okay, um... This seems pretty good. Yeah, let's play Chandra, and then let's play this. This can protect Chandra. Oh man, that's a powerful card. It's fine.
Yeah, that's gonna be game. I'm gonna call this uh, Rule Hollow One. That was a very strong start for them. This is a matchup where ensnaring bridge would be freaking fantastic. Although this is a matchup where uh, Shadow Spear maybe could be good. I shouldn't have blown my lightning bolt, although they might have discarded it. I'm not really sure I want to make that many changes. I don't know, maybe Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher can be good, but... Now, what am I kidding? Bone Crusher is freaking fantastic. Way better than Brittle Effigy. Like, just block their stuff. Yeah, let's just run it back. I mean, I don't think... There's, there's really nothing in the sideboard. Maybe a couple Shadow Spears, but like... Yeah, you saw that board state. We just have to prevent the board state from getting out of control. I don't think they even play any basic for us. I could be wrong. Could be Mage of the Moon is better than Blood Moon. More flexible. Yeah, maybe maybe next game I'll just play Mage instead of Blood Moon. The green might only be for um to hard cast Vengevine. Well, um, I don't know. This could be incredibly, an incredibly bad keep, but um, we can at least threaten to get off to a soft, to a fast start with Ragavan. Oh my God! Wow, they ruined our hand. Wow. Oh wow. I I hate to do this, but I'm going to tank it. We're going to have to try to make up the difference in, uh, in connecting. So, at least we can play Bone Crusher Giant even if we can't connect. They might have like lots of lightning bolts, but we'll see. So I'm going to attack, and the reason why, one be reason is that I could maybe block with. Uh, now they might actually spring a uh, blazing root wall. Uh, I guess I can spike field. That's not what I want to do. I want to use the uh, extra treasure token to block with a uh, and a bugbear. Yep, they got it.
I may have to Valakut. Oh my god, that was that was perfect. Well, I shouldn't say perfect. They might they still might uh Let's see. <clears throat> and I can play Obosh next turn, so I don't know. If they got Lightning Bolt, if they got any burn. If they've got, um, you know, discard, uh, what's it called, uh, Bench Vine, into uh, play two creatures, then we're dead. There's a lot of ways we're dead. But there is maybe a small chance. This is where I kind of wish I had, um, what's it called, uh, uh, Shadow Spear. Alright, well, gotta block both. Oh my god, Ox. Jeez. This is a, this, this deck looks gas. They're gonna ox, of course. I mean, if they got lightning bolt, they're gonna—they just kill me. So there's no reason not to just block both of these if they attack. I mean, hopefully they don't have unholy heat, but I mean, at least, I mean, we literally die if we don't do this, so. Okay. I'm worried about Bench Vine. How worried should I be? I can play Ox though. Well, see, I'm just worried I'm not going to draw a Burn Spell. They can also play a um, play a uh, a uh, Blazing Root Wallet in a turn, but at the end of the day, I think they could go nuts with Ox. Okay. Okay. I need to cleanse the wind next turn. I mean, I'm at one life. I don't think I have much uh, money options here. All right, so I got one more creature, and then that's GG. All right, that's GG, I think. All right. Maybe I should have attacked. No, they would have just blocked the Obosh. No, no problem. Yeah, and it is worth noting, even if I held back with Obosh, I still would have uh, taken the L. Now, maybe if I Valakut Awakeninged and drew, like, three cards. Wow, this is uh, very laggy. Oh, looks like that one had done nothing. The, um, let's see. Okay, finally the recording's working. All right, uh, let me take uh, the card here because I, I might time out if I don't do something soon. I think it's got to be plot C's. All right, so we're basically playing Gen Sagavan, and what's going on here is that we let off on Ragavan, they unholy heated, then we Ragadast, and then we use the treasure token to play an Inquisition we revealed off the top, and of course we took their thought C's. So. Pretty good spot. Um, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, we're not guaranteed to be able to play Blood Moon next turn. 
So DRC, I think. Yeah, into Mistress Bobble. I'm really hoping to slam Moon here. Because that they can make that thing a three three at moment's notice. Okay, they decided to make it a three three now. All right, let's see. Yeah, I, I went down on the clock because there was some massive lag here. Come on. Oh. Should we exile? Nah, I don't think so. Next turn, what we're going to do is we're going to play Blood Moon. That'll force out an Urza Saga tap, and then we can Fury killing this and the uh, Urza token, and then get through. That's the devious plan, at least. They got Blood Crypt in their hand. Let's see. I'm a little bit worried about a Kolagon's command. Still not the end of the world if they do that, though. Alrighty. <laughs> and they're obviously going to down tick on uh, Ragavan, but that means I can Fury hit both of these. And Blood Moon looks like it will probably be a lock. Alright, let's do this. And then we're gonna do the relic trick where we're gonna hold priority and then crack and then uh, this will die and it will, yeah. Now, Ragadash would be the most uh, concerning thing. Otherwise, we basically have this as a complete lock. But those treasure tokens, of course, could be very good against us. All right, we're oboshing it up. See if that uh, if this bone crusher was a hammer, well, we would have sequenced differently, but we would have been able to um, 
No, actually, we would have still exiled it. I know. Last hand. <laughs> There's no reason to hold the last uh, mountain in our hand, because uh, if we get season pyromancer, we'll have to discard it anyway. Uh, but we, but if we hold one in our hand, we can uh, play it. If we draw season pyromancer, and then we can. Uh, also, just pitch it with a Valakut Awakening. Okay, all right. Yeah, sometimes Blood Moon can be excellent against Gen Saga Viana. Ready. <clears throat> okay. All right, a video finally, finally is done combining. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of lag going on here. Let's see here. Uh, maybe... Yeah, Pillage could definitely go a long way to completing the lock. It's notoriously bad against... Uh, Ren and Six, though, but it's also good against those uh, tokens so they don't get out of hand. I think Ragavan is... It, it was excellent that game, but that's, I think, the exception rather than the rule. I could play Brittle Effigy, but I just don't think that that's necessary. I think that's that's overkill. Okay, so yeah, excuse me if there's some mega lag going on here. Excuse me, um, there's some serious lag, and I'm not sure why exactly. Definitely, Obasha, I choose you. All right, give me a second. Just a lot of lag. We'll uh, get over this in a second. Okay. Okay.
All right. Oh uh, yeah, I think we can keep this hand. Man, we are we're, we're normally ahead on time, so like we definitely could have could have been better off for our time, but you know, you know how it goes. Okay. Hey, they mulligan to uh to five. That's got to be good for us. All right. Man, this must be kind of frustrating for them that we're taking so long. But, it, like, we just had to deal with a lot of lag there. All right, so we are holding up Spike Field. And once again, we're hitting a lag spike here. Alrighty, come on, any day now. Den. They're gonna come out. Come on, Den. You can do it. Our timer is gonna be at like 14 minutes. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's definitely... Um, it's definitely lagging up here. Oh, there we go, finally. Alright, thankfully... It, oh, there we go, yeah. Wow, our timer got killed there. We're doing this because we actually fear a Ragged Ash more. We're definitely gonna Alrighty, definitely hit this. I'd love to play Relic, but I uh, I have to hold up Spike Field for their Ragged Ash. Once I uh, can make it to three mana for Season Pyromancer, okay, well, if they got Ragged Ash, one of the cards in their hand is a land. Yeah, probably Relic go bye-bye.
And they really did a number to their life total, and they're not even a Death Shadow deck. At least I don't think they are. Okay. Four or five, I mean, it happens. Yeah, I'm going to kill that thing. I'm going to, I'll take one hit. I can do this because Spike Field Hazard will make it so Tarmogoyf gets exiled anyway. Alrighty. Yeah, I already got three types in the graveyard. Okay, anyway. I probably should have played Season Pyromancer. I still want to discard the uh, the mountain. <sighs> Maybe I can get in there with uh, Den of the Bugbear. I don't know. Yeah, but that was a mistake. Obosh or Pyro. Okay, okay, I would have, I really would have, uh, yeah, that's really not too bad. Okay, good thing they cannot cast that, or maybe they can. Did they play a land? Oh, they did. Oh my god. Well, at least I can nick the Ren and Six.
And if they block it, this goes to my graveyard at least. Man, they're very close to just uh, to just dying though. And they're take they're lagging too, I guess. Hmm. Man, this is close. Uh, but the problem is, if I play Obosh, they just ultimate on Holy Heat, and kill my Obosh, and like there's not much I can do. I could wait to to Obosh and um, I think I have to do this though. Maybe I should have gone after them. Yeah, because it's, it's very obvious block. They're definitely gonna ragged ask me. Or thought sees. Okay. Oh, that must have been a misclick. I'm definitely chalking that up to a misclick. Okay, if I draw a land, I think I'm going to play Obosh. If I draw Spike Field Hazard, then I've got Lethal. I think this is lethal. Yeah, Chandra actually does provide some reach. And the crazy thing is they would have been able to steal this Chandra. So I acknowledge the opponent probably lost this particular game because they misplayed. They could have stolen my Chandra. That would have been a disaster. Um, although, let's see. Let's see what the top card of my library is. If it's a, if it's a, um, yeah, never mind. All right, I guess I would have won either way. <clears throat> All right, match uh, four. Hard to believe it's already match four. Let's let's go. Well, no lands except for Valakut Awakening. I think this is a this is a mall. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's mall. Okay, much better. Much better. I think, as much as I like Fury, I think uh, it's a little awkward because I'm not sure if I've got good pitches. Man, Chandra Dress to Kill. This card is such a nice addition. Alrighty. Alright, since I've got three lands, um, I'll probably hold on to this in case I want to pitch it with Season Power Matcher. <coughs> <laughs> uh, 
Alrighty. Alrighty. I wonder what deck this is. Should I play Chandra? I'm gonna play Chandra. This could be wrong, but uh, I mean, I can wait for slightly better pitches. I don't know what I'm up against. I don't want to just blow lightning bolt just yet. Okay, double bolt, that's fine. Or just one bolt, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, well, it was a one for one and it saved me four life. There, I've seen worse. I'm going to try to Lightning Bolt and stop these things, but I don't know, I'll hold back. Let's definitely stop this. Alrighty. Goyfy Goyf. Ooh, Goyfy Goyf. Ragavan. Probably gonna just play Season Pyromancer and Angle to. Yep, good thing I waited. And Angle to uh, set up a good block. Yeah, this is uh, this is good. <coughs> In theory, if I double block the Goyfs, I can kill both of them. I'd have to fade one uh, Ragavan hit though. Oh, there's no way they just attack right into a token. So they have instant creature, no sorcery, instant creature, instant creature land, planeswalker, instant creature land, planeswalker, okay. Gotta deal with that thing right now. Not bad. Yeah, definitely blocking with the elemental token. Good thing I got main back main board relic. Not bad. Maybe 
Maybe I'll just put Obosh to hand though. Let's see for five, six, seven. I guess if I put Chandra, I could have put Obosh to hand and uh, used her ability, but I just didn't want to have to defend her. Going down to eight's a little scary, but having Obosh in play will immediately enable us to deal with these to a much greater extent. Two for five. Alright, fair enough. Got a treasure token. What does that mean? It means I can play Fury and Bone Crusher. Oh, excuse me, my uh, volume was off, but I think it was only off temporarily. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, like, this this really turned around, thank goodness. And I had the relic, too, so, all right. All right, let's see here. Definitely I want Blood Moon. I think Brittle Effigy. This is, I think this is actually the match where uh, we can use Brittle Effigy. I think Ragavan's just gonna get killed. You know, although that, I mean, this matchup definitely made Ragavan look very good, didn't it? But I think overall we have to uh, we have to play for uh, the more realistic scenario, which is Ragavan just eats some type of removal spell and dies. Yeah, this is all overall pretty good. I like Brutal Effigy versus uh, Tarmogoyf. Mostly for uh, Murktide region, but it doubles up against Death Shadow and Tarmogoyf, and you know the drill. You can also play it off with the Chandra plus one, which is nice.
Alrighty. We're definitely keeping. We cannot rule out the possibility that they have Ragavan themselves. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think I can't use Spike Field just yet because I may need to play this as a land. Just in case they have some type of like um, Gore Clan Rampager or something. Alrighty. Stone Rain. Maybe we should uh, bolt this thing. So they're playing a Naya Ponza deck. Alrighty, we have 28 lands, so shouldn't be in too bad shape. We need a Fury. It's not impossible we get a Fury. Uh, there's no harm in playing on, but... Yeah. I stand by my decision that I don't think uh, Ragavan... I think that was an outlier in the last game. Because as you can see, Ren and Six would just snipe the uh, Ragavan. Yeah, you know, Stone Rain's one of these cards that it looks, when it's good, it's really good. But like last game, when it's bad, it's really bad. Like last game, that Stone Rain just really didn't do anything. Since we had two bugbears, it didn't even really hurt our strategy that much. I think I'll just run it back. At the end of the day, I still, like, notice how Brittle Effigy can deal with, uh, um... Uh, Hex Drinker, as long as it's not uh, the final form. Alrighty, 28 lands. I don't think a Ponza strategy is going to be too effective against us, so obviously with this hand it will be. Alright, there we go. I don't think we need two Furies. Let's try to make our hand a little diverse, so we can, uh, so we're not cold to any one particular thing. I could, I could stomp, but I'm a little bit worried about Ragadash. Yeah, but I'm a little more worried about Stone Rain, so let's just do this. All right, that's not too bad. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. 
Hopefully they can't, uh, well, they could probably one-shot the Chandra, but we'll see. I guess I could have played the Bone Crusher, but it's just, if the Chandra lives somehow, we're in such good shape next turn with Fury. Okay, good. We're in excellent shape. Wow, that was insane. That was a little nuts so. Um, I think this is a Blood Braid. Okay, but let's see. Vindicate. Ooh. All right. Cool. That was a. That's a good comeback. Hmm. I, th I feel like Blood Moon may not be at its best anymore, but we'll see. I may want to hit my uh, my planeswalker, so future Tarmogoy for less juicy. You want to attack me? Okay. All right. All right, all right. See ya. <laughs> yeah, let's just play this. Play this. All right. I mean, I was just about as likely to draw a burn spell as them, so that's why I didn't offer the trade, but you know, you know how it goes. Maybe I shouldn't have played Blood Moon, I don't know. I'm sure if they require double cost for anything. Brittle Effigy maybe is not bad. A little bit worried about Hex Drinker, but I can't take too much damage. I'm probably going to have to just cycle Relic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay, not bad. Yeah. 
If they attack with Noble Hierarch, I'll just take. Vindicate. Should I have Lightning Bolt? Nah. Do they even have any actual natural black sources? I'm gonna call this four color Ponza. And I'm glad I held on to Lightning Bolt. Well, let's see. Well, glad, I'm glad I didn't also just rush to Lightning Bolt right there. Alrighty. All right, let's let's offer this. Nice. And just like that, we're ahead on the damage race. Yeah, that sucks. That was a good card. No normally, we just put lands to the bottom at this point, but, you know, Riddle Effigy is one of those few cards that isn't. All right. All right, I think that's GG. Or not. Well, getting close to GG uh, from just burn spells. Alrighty. Jeez, man, <laughs> they've got infinite lightning bolts. Alright, well, I guess I have to bolt this thing. It's, you know, debatably, I shouldn't even play that first Blood Moon, but we'll see. Well, that would have been GG if uh, I would have drawn that earlier, but, you know, can't count on drawing all four bolts in any game. Jeez, man. Should I take a hit from Noble Hierarch? Probably not. Holding all this stuff in my hand in case I draw a Season Pyromancer or a Valakut Awakening. All right, that's a this is a job for Spite Field if I've ever seen one. Alrighty.
Yeah, I feel like this would have been better. I don't know if they got any double green spells or anything, but... Hmm. Wow. I need some Valakut. Okay, not bad. I'm not gonna mince words or whatever, I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm sure they've got a lightning helix or something, but yeah, hey. Yeah, or prismatic ending. Oh, jeez. Need some action cards. I haven't seen any season power matches yet. Now, see what I mean about Stone Rain being really bad? Like, when it's bad, it's really bad. Oh, yes, finally. Yeah, I'm going to discard all of this. Yeah, this is good against... Uh, What's it called? But oh yeah, see what I mean? I discard the two mountains. I may want to wait on these just in case, we'll see. Let's see. <clears throat> I'll wait one more turn because then I can go more nuts with Season Power Master. Oh man, this could be bad if they get a good hit in. What did they reveal? Hex Drinker. Okay, I'm going to need a Fury here. That's fine, Fury is my answer. I don't think I... I got two of these. got three of these, well. We need fury. I need a red card to pitch, so I have to do this. Okay, well we might we might be able to serve back for lethal. We can deal three damage after all. Unless they can lightning bolt my face, which seems like what they're what else are they holding up the one mana for? This is unholy heat. Could be unholy heat. We'll see.
You know, all of, you know. Actually, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna go for Blood Moon next turn. So, oh, there we go. All right, I guess that's I guess that's GG's. I uh, for some reason I thought we had one more game, but now I just realized. I think I think they uh, brought it back here at the end. Okay, match five. Um, you know, last match I just should not have had Blood Moon. Like I have way more utility lands than they did. Being able to identify like when Blood Moon actually hurts us more than them is very important with this deck. The reality is I think we have a very solid matchup against that last deck, but uh, I just didn't correctly identify that Blood Moon was not my friend there. I mean, what else should I have? Pillage, Magus, maybe Magus on the Moon. Okay, th I'm guessing that this is a... I don't know what this is. Well, whatever it is, let's bolt the bird. Now, we have to bolt the bird because we may need these for our mana sources. Alrighty. Already, already, already. Is it salt eye? Salt eye mid range? Oh, salt eye, uh, salt eye in fact. Well, this is going to be a little challenging. All right. Um, you're gonna need brittle effigy for sure. Brittle effigy has one advantage over uh, over pirate small bomb, and that is that it can't it can't get uh, pumped, but it can get a uh, Vines of Astwood and so forth. Yeah, we need we need the full moons. Yeah, I think Chandra is not at its best here. Yeah, uh, Pillage could have a place, but I'm just going to try to go full moon here. Yeah, let's keep. Yeah, 
And we definitely have to bolt the bird. Then we're probably going to have to stop the bird next. But if we can keep them off of black, we're going to be in pretty good shape. I would love to play Ragavan, and maybe I should. No. Because i got to keep them off of an infect creature next turn. Alright, Blood Moon time. Hopefully they don't have some kind of a... Some kind of naturalize or something, which they might. Alright, cool. It's going to be kind of hard for them to play uh, Phyrexian Crusader, I think, with a Blood Moon out here. Just in case they can somehow um, force a vigor this. Okay, good. Okay, so I think I run it back, but uh, but uh, I'm gonna I may need to mulligan to Ragavan, but the problem is I may not still not able to get <clears throat> turn two moon because I may have to bolt their stuff, and they can block and ugh, maybe I have to mulligan to brittle effigy. Maybe that's what it is. But and Ragavan though, because. I gotta be able to brittle effigy and tap when they're tapped out. Oh, this ain't gonna cut it. It's no Ragavan and no interaction early in the game. Well, this is early interaction. Dang it, if I didn't already mulligan, I'd be more inclined. I can't, I can't, unfortunately. All right, well, this is the type of hand that I need. Alright, I got Ragavan, I got some interaction, and I got Mages. I don't know. Ah, oh, they've got... I want to bolt the bird so bad. Okay, good. I can bolt the bird. Because I can't have them playing uh, Phyrexian Crusader turn 2. Okay. This way we can land Mages hopefully next turn. No, let's not do that. Let's just do first strike. Okay, green man, I'm sure. 
I, I think, though, if they have the kill, I'll see it coming. And this forced them to have to fetch Funky, which they probably didn't want. Have to block. All right, try to block again. Definitely block. I have to do this because if they like pump it and then, nah, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Maybe I should have. Just worried that they had like a vines of Vastwood or something. This time I can take, though, I think. Yeah, I don't think they're going to kill me. Unless they have, like, giant growth, mutagenic growth. See, I couldn't block because I have to be able to block this turn. If they have like a scale up, then I trade. All right. This might be the beginning of our... All right, I hope this isn't a suicide mission, but... I, I want to put the pressure on. Okay. Obviously the plan is to block with Obosh. And then if I attack with Bone Crusher next turn, they'll have to block. My Obash is not dead. I'm doing this just in case they have some kind of way to uh, protect it. have fallen through. This was this seems like a tough matchup because of a uh, Frexion Crusader, but the, the key definitely is the moons that prevents them from being able to cast it. Oof. So hopefully we round it out to a 3-2 uh, here. Okay. We could have definitely got a 4-1 if we had not brought in Blood Moon against the, the uh, four color uh, um, you know the four color whatever it was called Ponza deck. Uh, but I don't, what was the one deck, what was the one other matchup that we, Hollow one? Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, so probably this was not a trophy league regardless. Pretty good though, pretty good, I must say. Um, alright. 
All right, post-league wrap-up. Well, <clears throat> I think uh, this could have easily been a 4-1 league. Um, Hex Drinker obviously can easily be dealt with with less than on one, but, you know, you got to be kind of, uh, you got to be thinking in terms of like, yeah, you know, my, we actually gain a lot of value from our uh, from our uh, utility land base in some matchups. So uh, we definitely take Blood Moon out so that we can rely more heavily on our, <clears throat> on our mana base, that's for sure. Um, but hey, you know, we, uh, I think the, uh, I think the, um, the Golgari or Sultai Infect deck is probably a bad matchup, but the good news is, is that they don't seem to play a lot of basic swamps, so, um, you know, mooning them out of uh, black mana so they can't play, um, <sighs> Phyrexian Crusader is definitely the strategy, but of course it's tricky because, uh, you know, they can easily play their uh, mana dorks and possibly ramp into it. Although only uh, Ignoble Hierarch can ramp, ramp into it on turn two. Noble Hierarch uh, cannot. Although Noble Hierarch can if they um, if they lead off on like a uh, an overgrown tomb. Because um, then they can get two black from their lands and just use the other for a mana. But, you know, <clears throat> either way, it's uh, we got to be presenting Ragavan and be presenting cards that deal with their mana dorks or listener elves so they don't kill us with that. And try to land a moon before they can land a Phyrexian Crusader. So if they got Phyrexian Crusader, you know we're in, we're in a pretty tough spot. But um, thankfully they got mana screwed in the last game, so we could land a moon before they could get their right mana. So if that, if I remember correctly. But either way, yeah, I mean, you know, there's a certain element of a uh, of a uh, there's a certain element of variance though because I'm not necessarily sure my other versions would necessarily uh, do that much different. Um, Although, um, although Ensnaring Bridge would probably help out a heck ton against a uh, Gruel Hollow One, and for that matter, matter possibly against Infect. Although, although the fact, oh, yeah, yeah, because all their source strongest uh, pump spells um, are Sorcery Speed or like you know Mutagenic Growth. I mean, uh, Might of Volcrosa, they get their biggest boost for Sorcery Speed. So it might be kind of hard for them to string together. I mean, like um, Scale Up's kind of out of the question with a. Um, with a bridge out, so bridge actually might really help shore up the uh, Sultai matchup too. Um, now that I think about it, so yeah, maybe I take it back. Maybe certain versions definitely uh, have better and worse matchups, but yeah. But anyway, um, all in all, I mean, I think the deck, I think the deck did pretty good. Um, it definitely uh, in another, definitely if with tighter play could have been a four-one. Should have probably should have been a four-one, and then uh, and then you know given different matchups, given different scenarios, but with certainly tight play, this can probably be a pretty consistent 4-1 deck that'll can, that'll occasionally trophy and get three twos, and I mean, that there's not much more you can ask for than that, probably, but uh, but so far I'm kind of stuck in the three-two zone with this particular build, but I don't know that that's necessarily uh, the deck's fault, or it's just how the cookies are crumbling in these particular in these particular leagues. Um, but as far as what I want to execute with this with this version, I, I do think I'm probably going to be sticking with pretty much these, this 75, because if you play Shadow Spear, you really got to max out your creatures. Anyway, well, until next time, hope you all enjoyed. Take care.